car crash killed a Child Protective Services employee and two foster children who she was transporting. It was a head-on collision two days ago in Van Zandt County near the town of Edgewood. A third child survived, a sibling of the other two, and today their estranged mom talked about the tragedy. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is at Children's Medical Center in Dallas with the story. Natalie. Well, Steve, when Dawn Morrison got the call, she came straight here from Ohio, and she has been waiting to see her 12-year-old daughter, who is in critical condition and still does not know that her two brothers were killed. They're really good kids. Dawn Morrison admits it's been a long while since she's seen or talked to her children, but she says they were working with CPS on getting them to Ohio, where she and her ex-husband live, before a teen driver took the children's lives. I don't want to hate him. I don't want to see his life ruined, but yet he took my children. And I, I don't know what else to do except to let justice play out. Police say 19 year old Jesse Brown crashed his Dodge Dakota head on into the Chevrolet driven by 61 year old CPS veteran caseworker Connie Wells. Wells was killed along with 14 year old Adam AJ Tuma and 11 year old Elijah Tuma. 12 year old Isabella, the only survivor. Wells was taking the kids home to their foster families from a counseling session. Morrison says her children were removed from her care when she and her now ex husband went through a difficult time and she moved to Ohio for cancer treatment. I thought that was the worst thing that could happen and it's it's not it's finding out hey you lost your children. She says the children went to live with their grandmother Thelma Morrison Duff and her husband Daryl Duff at their Canton home. According to a CPS report the children made several outcries about alleged abuse at that home and deplorable living conditions from animal waste. CPS removed the children Thursday and Friday the SPCA and Van Zant County Sheriff's Office seized 109 dogs and cats from the home and one horse. Don Morrison says for now she's just eager to see her daughter but anticipating a very difficult talk. When she does find out about her brothers, I know it's going to be very hard. Um, and she's going to ask the question, why her? And it was the same question, why did I get diabetes? And the only thing I can tell her is, is that because you're strong and God chose you. Well, the Duffs face animal cruelty and child endangerment charges. It is still unclear what charges, if any, the driver who caused the accident might face. Morrison tells me she is trying to plan a vigil in Canton for her two boys. And she also says she would like to thank the first responders who responded to the crash site personally. Steve.